Hello everyone, my name is Alex from Ernest Alex Reads, and today's video is my OWL Magical Readathon TBR. The basic premise of the OWL Magical Readathon um, is that you are a student at Hogwarts, and uh, all of April is the time that you're taking your ordinary wizarding levels, uh, the fifth year exams in the Harry Potter world. So basically you're pretending that you're <laughs> at Hogwarts and you're taking all of these exams, um, in August, there is usually a NEWT magical readathon where you take those exams and you can work towards a magical career. This readathon is put on by G over at Book Roast every year. This is my third year participating in the OWL readathon, and I believe it is also the third year that it's being put on in total. So I am very, very, very excited. It is definitely my favorite readathon of all time. Um, I'm happy that I'm able to participate in it in April. My strategy for the OWL Magical Readathon has always been um, to try and read all 12 books um, and fulfill all 12 of the subject prompts so that in August during the NEWT Readathon um, I can pick my career and yeah all of my options are open because I've done all of the owls. So my goal for April is to read the 12 books that cor correspond to the 12 uh, subjects at Hogwarts. Um, it's very complicated, but that's why I love this readathon. I'm just really bad at explaining it. I'm filming this on the first day of the readathon because I was trying to wait for all of my books to arrive so that my TBR would look beautiful and, ha and I would have all of my books um, at the beginning of the readathon, but uh, they haven't arrived yet, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. Let's talk about some books. So the prompt for Ancient Runes is to read a book with uh, a heart on the cover or a heart in the name, and I'm going to be picking up Heart of Thorns by Brie Barton. Um, I don't know much about this. <sighs> I think it's a fantasy book and there's like disguise and political intrigue, which sounds good to me. The prompt for the subject of Eurythmancy is to read a book that's outside of your reading comfort zone, and I'm going to be picking up Platform 7 by Louise. Dowdy. Uh, this book is a thriller and I don't usually read thrillers. Um, I'm not familiar really with the genre. I am excited to pick this up. Um, I don't know what it's about really and I don't know uh, what my experience is going to be but I'm excited. The astronomy prompt is to read a book while the while it's mostly dark outside so the majority of um, the time you are reading this book, it has to be dark. And for astronomy, I am going to be reading Tarnished Are the Stars by Rosie Thor. Um, I don't know much about this book, except I believe it has an arrow ace protagonist and it's set in space. Um, and I'm excited, so I thought a little bit space, reading it in the dark, astronomy, I thought was a good fit and I am excited. For the subject of Care of Magical Creatures, the prompt is to read a book with a animal with a beak on the cover, and I'm going to be reading uh, No Country for Old Gnomes by uh, Delilah S. Dawson and Kevin Hearn. Um, I read To Kill the Farm Boy uh, last year, I really enjoyed it, and I'm excited to pick up the uh, com companion novel. Um, this month. For the subject of charms, the prompt is to read a book with a mostly white cover and I'm going to be picking up Frankly in Love by David Yoon. Um, this is a contemporary that focuses on uh, being first generation American um, and a teenager. There's also some fake dating. I believe. I am really looking forward to reading this book finally because I've wanted to for a while and it does have a mostly white cover. For the subject of Defense Against the Dark Arts, the prompt is to read a book set by or on the sea. And for Defense Against the Dark Arts, I'm going to be picking up House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig. Um, this book is a retelling of the uh, fairy tale of the Twelve Dancing Princesses. I know that I have heard or read that fairy tale before, except I don't know and can't remember the plot. 
um, but I know that it is set by the sea and, and I have been wanting to read this book. So for divination, the prompt was to uh, number your TBR and do a random number generator and then read that book. So I did that and I ended up um, having to read, I guess, Crier's War by Nina Valera. This is a female-female romance um, set in like a futuristic fantasy world, I believe. There's been a lot of hype around this book um, and I am excited. For the subject of Herbology, the prompt was to read a book starting with the letter M and I am going to be picking up Middle Game by Shannon McGuire. I actually don't exactly know what this book is about. I believe it's about twins and somebody pretending to slash wanting to be god. I'm not sure but I've heard really great things about it and I'm gonna pick it up for the readathon. <laughs> for the subject of history of magic uh, the prompt was to read a book uh, about witches and I'm going to be picking up Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. I read the first book Truth Witch uh, last month and I really enjoyed it and I'm very excited to continue in this series. For the subject of Muggle Studies, um, the prompt is to read a contemporary book and I'm picking up um, this book, Ein Buchladen zum Verlieben uh, by Katharina Bilvad. Um, this book is about two people who start a friendship over uh, or because of a bookstore and somebody from Sweden moves to Midwest America, um, I believe. And yeah, this book sounds really nice and sweet and a really great contemporary read. It's also in German and thick, but I like challenging myself. So um, I'm gonna pick this one up for uh, Muggle Studies. Then for the subject of potions, the prompt was to read a book under 150 pages and I'm going to be picking up the, sagna, uh, the Sagas of Ragnar Lodbrok. Uh, this is a book of the three major Old Norse texts. Um, it is like a Viking saga, um, but there's a lot of information and uh, this is, I guess, widely um, known as the most, uh, like a very, very literal translation. I, I guess like the closest translation to the original um, saga. It is under 150 pages. Um, it's a bit outside of my comfort zone, but I think it's gonna be a very cool and uh, interesting reading experience. And last but certainly not least is the subject of transfiguration. And the prompt for this subject is to read a book that um, involves shape-shifting. And I'm gonna be picking up The Brilliant Death by Amy Rose Capetta. This is supposedly a super queer, um, super wonderful Italian-inspired fantasy. Has a character that can shape-shift and I'm very excited. I've been wanting to read this for a long time. So yes, that was my OWL uh, Magical Readathon TBR. If you are also participating, good luck and have fun. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day um, and you're reading an amazing book. Bye.